Hello guys, it is Gate of Theories here and guys, since the Beaker Girls has finally finished and we've came to an end of yet another Tracy Beaker show, it is time to update our tier list. If you have been on this channel for a while, you will know that way back in like lockdown, we created a story of Tracy Beaker tier list ranking all of the characters from that show. And then we've gone on and updated it. We did Tracy Beaker Returns, we did The Dumping Ground, we did My Mum Tracy Beaker when that came out, and I've wanted to update it for so long now, but I wanted to wait until we finally finished a new TV show, and now that The Beaker Girls has finished, it's time to update it. And maybe this might be the final time, or unless they release something like My Grandma Tracy Beaker, which to be honest, I'm pretty sure they will. Guys, if you want to go back and see all of those videos, there'll be links down below in the description if you want to check them out. And there'll also be a link down below to this tier list as well, so you can join along with me at home and make sure that you share it with us on social media. But let's just get straight on in with it. So this is where we left off the tier list in the last video when we rated My Mum Trace Beaker. Since then, we've not only had updates in the Beaker Girls, but we've also had updates in the Dumping Ground characters. So I thought we'd add them in as well, just so that we've got every single character that is relevant on this tier list. Before we go any further though, let's recap what these tiers are. To start off with, we've got the Tracy Beaker tier. This is, of course, the best tier. This is the one that you want to be on. This is if you are Tracy Beaker level. Next, we've got the DG family. That's still a great tier. I absolutely think you're a brilliant character, and I can't wait to uh, see more what you've got. Next, we've got relevant enough to be in Gus's notebook. This is for the decent characters. They're good. I like them, but they're not shining through enough to be part of, like, the DG family. Next, we've got more non-existent than Tracy's mum. This is not a category you want to be in. This is basically that you're really, really forgettable. And lots of these characters in here, I just find really forgettable. Next, we've got Elaine the Pain's best mate. You really don't want to be in this tier list because otherwise, if you are, I just really dislike you. You don't want to be associated with Elaine the Pain. And finally, we have the Tracy's famous line, just bog off tier list. Because if you're in this one, I really can't stand you. You need to get out of this show and you shouldn't have been in it in the first place. Bog off. Before we go any further though, I just want to let you guys know this is my own opinion and this is just purely rating the characters. We're not rating the actors. We're not rating the writing. It's just the characters and their journey through these TV shows. Make sure that you put down below in the comments where you would rank all of these characters as well. And let's Let's firstly go through this tier list and see whether we want to update anything because we've had a few years now and lots of these characters have appeared in the Beaky Girls so let's see whether we need to update anything. My first update is probably Tyrone. I really like him in the Beaky Girls. He was good in My Mum Tried to Beaker which is where I rated him here but I think in the Beaky Girls he improved so I don't think he's necessarily in the DG family. Oh maybe he is. Maybe he is. Do you know what? Let's put him in the DG family. I just really like him and I think he's one of the best characters. Justine, I think, is going up into the Tracy Beaker category. Seeing her return in My Mum Tracy Beaker in the Beaky Girls. Let's also not forget Tracy Beaker Returns as well. I just love her and Tracy's dynamics as adults, so she's definitely moving up there. Uh, Sean Godfrey as well. Like, I really liked him in the Beaky Girls. I put him down here as Elaine the Payne's best mate, just because in My Mum Tracy Beaker, he's just really mean. But... I actually really like him in the Beaky Girls, so I'm going to say he's relevant enough to be in Gus's notebook. I think that's all the changes I've got. Now let's move on to all of these new characters that we need to update. Firstly, we've got Clem. I really like Clem. Out of all of the new sort of characters, I think she brings a nice energy, a nice vibe, but I don't think she's nowhere near as much as the DG family, probably because we just haven't seen her a lot. So I'm going to say relevant enough to be in Gus's notebook. Like, she's a good character, but nothing more than that. Next, we've got Murphy. It was interesting seeing Murphy, especially considering we still had Sasha there. And then, unfortunately, Sasha kind of just left as soon as he was finished, and it was really upsetting. And we also had an issue of, I thought, when Sasha had left, does that mean that we're finally going to see Murphy grow more, and we get to see what he's like without Sasha? Well, we didn't really get to see that, because then he also left as well and just disappeared randomly. So it was a bit of a shame. I feel like there was so much potential for this character, but they just didn't really go through with it. So for that reason, he's going to go in the more non-existent than Tracy's mum category. He's quite forgettable. Next, we've got Ruby. I really like Ruby, and I like her dynamic with everyone else, and she's got really interesting storylines. Um, I think they just could have done a bit more with her. So probably top of more non-existent than Tracy's mum. 
Next we have Kyle. Now I really like Kyle. He's the new kind of like, I'm gonna say Ryan mixed with Liam, mixed with Bailey, mixed with Johnny type of vibe. That did make sense in my head. I hope you understood what I was saying. Um, I really like him, but again, he's not done anything that's shone through, but he's getting up there. I think in later series, he's gonna shine through and probably make it up into this DG family TLS. But for now, I think he's gonna go in relevant enough to be in Gus's notebook. Where shall I put him? I'll put him after Alex. Like, he's, he's similar to Alex as well, I'd say. Next, we've got Ben, the new care worker. It was weird suddenly seeing Scott replaced and, like, no mention of it whatsoever. Suddenly, you've got this new guy, Ben, and Maylee just shines through him. He's not that great, no offense. And the fact that Maylee's now gone and we've only got Ben and we're meant to be getting a new care worker, I'm, I'm not looking forward to it. So... I'm, I'm, I don't really feel him. I don't really like him. So probably Elaine the Pain's best mate. Maybe like top of that tier. Next we've got Bonnie. So we've got the new characters in the dumping ground, the new kids who are kind of like the new generation. Bonnie is definitely the best out of all of them. I think that's like, no one's going to disagree with me with that. But I'm not a huge fan of all these new characters. So relevant enough to be in Gus's notebook, I'd say, for Bonnie. Fraser, I'd say he's on a very similar path to Bonnie. I like them kind of the same, and I think their sister and brother dynamic is a nice little vibe. Uh, but again, relevant enough to be in Gus's notebook. Sabrina, I'm not the biggest fan of her. I feel like she's trying to be like an Electra wannabe, but you can't replace Electra because Electra is amazing you just can't replace it but then she's also kind of really nice at times so she's not trying to be an Electra wannabe but then she is maybe like a Rebecca wannabe maybe but like I, I don't know I'm not feeling it I'm not getting a vibe uh maybe it's just the episodes that she's been in so far but for me personally I'm not really liking the character so Elaine the Payne's best mate not as bad as Dexter nowhere near uh let's put her Next to Alice. I think that, that sums it up. We've also got Wes. He's not really done much, um, so he's quite forgettable. So he's gonna go more non-existent than Tracy's mum. Like, I don't really have anything against him, but he's not done anything. Same with Hugo, especially. Like, he reminds me of Sid when he was younger. Sid is also in this more non-existent than Tracy's mum category. Um, so to be honest, should I just put him next to Sid? Because I feel like he is just Sid 2.0. He's Sid repeated, basically. Uh, and now let's move on to the Beaker Girls characters. So I've listed all of the main characters and let's go through with it. Jordan, who is of course kind of like the, I'd say main character of the Beaker Girls. I know you've got Jess and Tracy, but I'd say Jordan is, um, you know, up there as like the, the top main one. And I really like her. I think I probably prefer her to Jess, but only just. So I'm gonna put her there just above Jess in relevant enough to be in Gus's notebook. She's not amazing yet. I feel like if she'd had more time, it would have been better and we could have seen her more. Um, unfortunately, her time with Asha, I wasn't the biggest fan of just because I think Jordan had so much more potential as a character. But you know, she's still good. I think her first series was definitely better than her second series. Next we've got Flo, a really nice uh, character, uh, but nothing amazing. So more non-existent than Tracy's mum, not in a bad way, just like she doesn't really have much to do. Should we put her, let's put her next to Steve. That, that sounds like a plan. Uh, next we've got Peter. Now I know I've got Peter down here in the Just Bog Off category because originally I really hated Peter. Peter from the Story Trace Speaker, Weedy Peter. He's really annoying. I was so happy when he left. I didn't like him. Uh, the reason why I've repeated him is because this Peter is so drastically different that I class them as two completely separate characters. And considering they're played by different actors, we also had that random Peter for that like last five minutes in My Mum Tracy Beaker. Um, but I really like him. I really do. So I'm gonna put him in relevant enough to be in Gus's notebook uh, because that original Peter was so bad. So they've definitely redeemed this character. Next we've got Cy Martin. I really did like Cy. I thought he was uh, really funny. Um, so again, probably relevant enough to be in Gus's notebook, probably next to Sean Godfrey. I do think Sean was a better character, but I like Cy's vibe. Um, I love him trying to work with Jess and balancing the fact that uh, he's got another family, but also doesn't want Jordan slightly involved. And it's just a really funny dynamic. So I really like that. Next we've got Patience. Oh dear. Um, nothing against the actress, nothing against the writing the character itself. I never thought I'd say this. The worst character that we've ever had yet. There's another one who's going to join Patience. 
But you know how I always say I really can't stand Floss in the dumping ground. Um, I just really don't like her character and I feel like she should have left years ago. Patience, I don't think they should have added in whatsoever. Tyrone is brilliant. That's why I moved him up to the DG family. I love him and Jess's dynamic. I think it's great. If Tyrone had just returned in the Beaky Girls constantly and we didn't have to see Patience, it would have been amazing. But I really don't like her. I don't know what it is. Just her vibe, the, the way she makes Jess do things, uh, the way she interacts with people. I'm just not a fan and I really don't like it. I find it quite cringy at times. I'm just not a fan of this character and I feel like she brings Jess and the other characters in that scene down just because I really don't like that character. So unfortunately, patients, you're going to go in the Jess bog off category. Bog off! Next, we've got Mrs. Cook. I will say they went with like a character type. They went for the really annoying, cringy teacher and Mrs. Cook plays it really well. Um, but as a character, I really don't like her. Uh, but I don't think she's in the dress bug off tier. I'd say she's in the Elaine the Pain's best mate. And to be honest, I reckon she would be best friends with Elaine the Pain if Elaine and her hadn't met and it had been really awkward, which might I say, Elaine the Pain's return, amazing. Best episode ever. Um, so she's gonna go in Elaine the Pain's best mate probably after Millie. I really don't like Dexter, so after Millie. Next we've got Asha, interesting character. Very interesting character. I just feel like they could have done more with her. Unfortunately, her entire character arc was going somewhere and it was it was going to be amazing and then it just becomes like she's a side character to Jordan. And I feel like they were building her up to be her own unique character and then suddenly it was she's only there for Jordan. Her entire personality turned into Jordan, which is not a bad thing. I just think there was so much more potential that could have been done with Asha. Uh, especially with the conflict between Sai and Jess and her. That could have been amazing if they'd like dealt more into that. But instead, in the second half of the series, she was just like Jordan's sidekick. Which is a shame, because I feel like there was so much more potential. So for that reason, she's going to go in the more non-existent than Tracy's mum's category, uh, probably behind Wes. Like, she was a, a, a nice character, but so much more potential, and it was just wasted. Uh, AJ... I really liked, um, but I don't think he was anything incredibly special. So probably more non-existent than Tracy's mum. Probably better than Hayley. Put him there. Next we got Priya. Uh, I found Priya really annoying, but I think that was kind of like the point. You were meant to find her annoying but likeable at the same time. And it was a bit of a weird dynamic. Uh, some episodes I really liked her, some episodes I didn't. So probably net behind Asha, I'd say. Uh, in, in this tier list. And finally, we have our final character, Moses, who, like I said, there will be one more character going in the Just Bog Off tier. And unfortunately, brother and sister duo, Moses is going to join Patience at the bottom. Bog off! I don't know what it is about these two, and I didn't even add their parents into this tier list just because they would have all gone in the Just Bog Off tier. Like, I think it's nice to have an extra family on the side, but all of their storylines were just so unnecessary and were taking away from the awesome drama that was going on with Tracy, Jordan and Jess. And the fact that we were focusing loads of our time on this family who, to be honest, I didn't care about. And I thought Patience, I really didn't like the brother. I really didn't like Moses. And I just wish they weren't there. I feel like this series would have been so much better without them. Nothing against the actors, nothing against the writing. I just think they could have been utilized way better if you were going to have them or better not bog them off, like get rid of them completely. Oh, bog off! But anyway guys, that is our updated tier list for all of the Tracy Beaker characters there has ever been in terms of the main characters, the story of Tracy Beaker, Tracy Beaker Returns, the Dumping Ground, my mum Tracy Beaker, and finally now, the Beaker Girls. What did you guys think of my ranking? Do you agree with me or not? Let me know where you guys would rank these characters in your very own tier list down below in the comments. And as always, we've been here on Gate of Theories. Thanks for watching. Make sure that you smash that like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys later. Doesn't work like it used to Is there nowhere